So ages and ages and ages and ages and ages ago, I found this video. It was like a photography hacks video. And what they did is they had an item which was very summery and very watery and very some beach themed. I can't remember if it was like a bottle of gin or like some shampoo or some sun cream or like sunglasses or something like that. I can't remember the specifics, but I remember what they did. And what they did was they got some glass and elevated that with some clamps or something and they put the product underneath the glass and they pour water on it and with the ripples from the water it made it look like product was in the water without it need without needing to worry about it being like floating around or flying away or anything like that so i'm gonna try and recreate that in a way i'm gonna try my best to recreate that what's up guys in this video we're going to be doing some product photography and we're going to be trying to falsify a underwater photo shoot let's go right right okay so the plan is i'm going to be i'll talk you through my process my, th my thought process my initial process was oh, okay so i need some glass i don't have any panes of glass lying around the house and a lot of people who were talking about it was to use see-through acrylic or glass storage basins like stuff that you can use for your kitchen however i don't we don't have any of those in the house and i don't want to spend the time and the money going out to find one from like b m or the range or something like that and then come back and then do it so then i thought oh my black belt certificates they're in a relatively thick frame then i was like oh i don't want to damage the certificates i don't want to run the risk of damaging the certificates so then i thought ah we've got full gallery of artwork and photos that are in frames then looking at them and looking at this one here is the frames are really really thin so you're not going to be able to get much water without it overflowing and you need at least a little bit of water in it and i don't think those frames are thick enough to get what I'm wanting. So I'm going back to the certificates and what I'm just gonna to need to make sure I'm doing is being very delicate and being very careful and making sure that the frame is dry before I put my certificate back in. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, let's see how that goes. So I've put, I've got the certificate out of the frame. I've put some piece of paper over it so no dust gets on it. So I don't need to worry about anything like that. So I'm keeping that nice and safe. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to clean up the glass on the frame to make sure there's no like fingerprints on it. Cause that'll kind of like get rid of the illusion. So the plan is just to spray it down with some cleaner and then wipe it down. That's all you can really do. Once we've done that, then it's just a matter of filling it with water and taking the shots. So yeah, let's keep going. All right, so what I'm doing at the moment, my hair is going huge. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm lining the edges of the uh, frame with some parcel tape. When I was watching people do it before, they were talking about using duct tape. They also mentioned sealant, however, because of the nature of what frame I'm using, I don't want to be putting sealant on it. They also said duct tape would, would help get stop it from doing, but I don't have any duct tape in the house, so I'm um, Losing my balance. So I'm seeing if parcel tape will work and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm trying to hope that it doesn't leak. What I'm going to be using as my subject for this shot is I'm going to be using some sun cream because that to me screams summer and sunshine and all of that. I'm going to be shooting outside. Now I don't have any like sand or anything like that, but what I do have is a patio. So I'm going to be put putting the sun cream on the patio and I've also got some rocks from ages and ages and ages and ages and ages ago when we did out our patio to put the shed on. In fact, we unearthed a load of rocks. So I've got a load of rocks in the back of the garden. So I'm gonna be using them to kind of fill out the frame around the sun cream. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going with my, with my parcel tape and get the frame all secured. And then we're gonna get back to it. I'll see you guys in just a sec. So um, the, my hair was getting in my face and it was annoying me, so I put a beanie on. Go figure. So what I've set up, I've set up the frame with two chairs. However, the issue with it is if you look down, you can see the legs from the chairs. So what we're gonna do instead, is instead of using the garden chairs, I'm gonna get out our dining chairs because their legs don't come out as far forwards and they're separated in the middle instead of the being, their individual legs instead of being one loop of 
a leg. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do that real quick. In three, two, one. Yeah, that's much better. If you come round, see how there, there's a much bigger gap between the legs there. That's much better. So the plan, as you can see, as you're looking through, there's the line of the cracks between them. Obviously, I could move the thing there, but it, but then these tufts still might get into frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very, very quickly, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rocks from all the way over here. So we've, we've got our garden at the moment. All the flowers are starting to die, so that's why it's not looking as nice. But behind them, we've got our nice big pile of rocks there. So we're gonna, I'm going to use them, some of the big ones, some of the smaller ones, to place over the little tufts of grass that are coming through in between our patio slab. So we're gonna put some there, some there, some there, and then obviously get the thing and then we're gonna get shooting. Let's go do that. Getting very bright now, innit? What I've just done is I've set up the rocks and I've put the sun cream on it and I've built like a little set around it with the rocks to emulate as best as I can the floor of like a river or one of those beaches where it's instead of sand, it's like pebbles and rocks and stuff. So try to pick the ones that look most like that, making sure there's a nice range of types of rocks, like ra jagged rocks, small smooth ones. And I've built that around the bottle of sun cream. So what I'm gonna do now is really quickly gonna spray it all down with some water, just to make it all look wet. And then I'm gonna put the glass on, then pour water in the glass and fingers crossed, hope that it doesn't leak. So yeah, I might need to shift it all over into the sun a bit more though, looking at it, because it's half in the shade, half out the shade, so I'm probably gonna move it all into the sun a bit further and then do that. Let's go. Okay, we've come into an issue. The water is leaking through it. The pass tape did not work. If any of you guys were to go in, oh, the pass is not gonna work. Well, yeah, you're right, it's, it's not working. So I'm gonna need to try and keep on top of this as best as I can and just work with it because I do not have time to, unfor unfortunately I don't have time to go and get a, sh a thing. If I could do like a part two to this, I'll go out and get a basin to actually do this with. But for now, I'm just gonna need to work with what I've got. So yeah, so there's that. Yeah, so we're gonna need to be fast. I will get back to you once the photos have been taken. So quite a bit happened since we last spoke. Pretty much as soon as I stopped recording that time lapse and I, sat and I said that I was gonna go straight into shooting, a, a, a huge, huge cloud came over and blocked out the sun. It was still relatively bright, but it wasn't bright enough for the motion of the water to be picked up on the product underneath it. So I was like, no, that's absolutely chill. I'll just go grab my panel light, whack it on a uh, light stand. We'll be good to go. It's all so sorted. And then, the, the 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 thing that attaches my panel light to a, a lighting stand snapped so i've got i didn't have anything to attach the lighting stand i didn't have anything to attach the panel light onto so i had to be like holding the panel light like in the up in the top half of my hand using my pinky from the hand to move the water then shine the light and then with my other hand take the photo it was an absolute meh it just oh but anyway here are the photos that I managed to take from it. Not in the slightest what I was hoping for. You can barely see any of the water, little ripples in the water on the product. But that's the whole point of the learning process. Uh, I think the main thing that went wrong is I didn't have, it, is, it was all in the light. I didn't have any shade to it because it was in the light. So next time I do it, I, I pro I'm potentially gonna do it inside and do the whole process inside in the kitchen. Maybe put out like a, waterproof tarp or something like that to make sure that the kitchen floor didn't get wet and potentially have someone there moving the water to keep the water moving instead of me moving it and then really quickly trying to get the photo before the water settles. Yeah, didn't go exactly as according to plan but when you make mistakes you learn and you learn from the mistakes. So that's what I've done today. So anyway, that's me for this week. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it entertaining me struggling to get uh, for this aspect of photography right. This working with water correct. Um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.